your local weather authority forecast. Well, good evening, everybody. We've got some nice blue skies out there for today with a lot of cumulus clouds showing up here. Those popcorn clouds that we know and love so well should make for a very beautiful sunset out there, especially with as much clear sky as we're seeing in between each one of those clouds. That should make for, again, a beautiful sunset, but unfortunately, these are not really likely to bring us any rain. You can really see that they're kind of flat, especially in terms of cumulus clouds. They really just kind of look like sheets of clouds trying to puff up rather than the puffy popcorn clouds that we usually see around this time of the year. Either way, Roofs by Nicholas gives us a, a great look outside at the Odessa skyline, including those clouds. But switching over here to our satellite and radar, you can see that there is actually plenty of rain south of I-10 and off to our north and west. But here in West Texas, most of that rain is remaining just that regular old rainfall. Really not seeing a whole lot of potential for these storms that we've got here south of I-10 to intensify too much at all. I really don't expect any hail cores or anything like like that. I do have lightning strikes turned on in the imagery here. You can see a couple of lightning strikes here and there, but typically it's a good way to tell the strength of a storm. If there are a lot of lightning strikes happening very frequently, you can expect that storm to either maintain its intensity or ramp it up. And really, we're just seeing very, very few lightning strikes out there right now. Now, north of I-10 here across the basin, really not seeing any evidence of rainfall at all. Just a couple of those cumulus clouds showing up here on our satellite and radar, which is great news because that should insulate our temperatures and prevent, hopefully, that soil from drying out too much. Now, south of I-10, where we're seeing that rain, we've got a lot of exceptional drought in that deep red, and we did get an update to our drought monitor yesterday. Shows off a couple of improvements out there, especially around the Trans-Pecos, where we've got a lot of that exceptional drought showing up. That band is a little bit thinner, but not by too much. It still goes to show we've got a lot of room for improvement here. We could definitely use more rain here in the summer season. Now, temperatures tomorrow will back down into the low 70s under some mostly sunny skies. But as we head into the afternoon time, I do expect our skies to begin filling up once again with those cumulus clouds and maybe picking up a couple of isolated showers. Now, notice how isolated these showers are here according to our model. And also notice the timing. They likely will start up by about 2, 3 p.m. in the afternoon across the basin and south of I-10, remain very sporadic and very weak. As we head into the further afternoon, we notice that those, those showers do begin to lift by about 5, 6 p.m. in the evening. Now, we're really not looking at a whole lot of intensity for any thunderstorms, nor do I expect any plans to get rained out. By 8 p.m., just before sunset, we're very clear here across the basin. And switching over here to our seven-day forecast, I do have a 0% chance for rain here in Odessa Midland for Saturday and Sunday, but the actual story is a little bit more complicated than that. I'd put it at about maybe a 5% chance at most. Either way, really not looking at a whole lot of intensity to any of this rainfall, and I don't expect it to last very long. So while it does say 0%, there is a small possibility that you might get sprinkled on for a very short time, but it'll remain just that. Very light showers for a very short time. Again, I don't expect any plans to get canceled. So great news there, Madeline and Ozzy. Great news. Um it's okay. I mean, as long as the fireworks, I'm like trying to think on the right side. Um, as long That's as the, the fireworks thing. don't get canceled. I'm yeah, okay. I really don't expect them to. It should be great weather as we head into the evening, especially after sunset. Absolutely. All right, Chase, thanks so much for thanks. that.